Welcome back to CDV News. It's one of the fastest growing areas in Canterbury, Kaiapoi. So in our CDV feature interview tonight, Chelsea Daniels takes a look at the fastest growing region in Canterbury. The redevelopment of Kaiapoi is well underway, with construction starting on the new industrial park and the CBD. Well, I think it's going pretty well. I mean, there's quite a lot of commercial development happening. Uh, there's five or six new buildings going up. This includes the restoration of the former Bank of New Zealand building, a Category 1 heritage building, as well as new commercial premises in the city centre. A new church is going up, which was lost in the quake, and he says the Coast Guard building as well, put on an angle by the quake. There is quite a lot happening around Kaapui, and uh, um, there's uh, further out near the motorway, there's a new commercial development underway there. Ayres says despite the devastation of the earthquakes, a majority of families have stuck around for the long haul. What it shows um, is that um, people are willing to invest in the future of Kaapui. It's a, uh, it's a growing town with not only the commercial development, but there are three subdivisions um, uh, which have uh, welcomed a whole lot of new residents as well as uh, uh, residents of Kaapui who have had to relocate. About a fifth of the town was red zoned as a result of the quakes and Ayres says that's been a major hurdle in the redevelopment of the town. I, I guess the, the uh, biggest um, uh, frustration in a way has been getting the, a red zone uh, future uh, process underway but that's now underway again um, so early next month there will be a discussion document um, out for public comment and that um, sum up some of the work that was done about a year ago in a process called Canvas where people gave their ideas for the residential red zones. He says the process will take around nine months to complete, having to go to public consultation before coming up with an earthquake recovery plan. I mean, it's going to be an exciting process, but it's been a bit slow um, getting underway, and, um, but it's all good now. And around that um, is that quite a lot of the infrastructure the worst damage infrastructure in Kaapui was very close to the red zone, so we needed to determine the future of the red zone to complete the work on the infrastructure. And the work hasn't been without its time delays. The other thing that's been a bit frustrating was we did have a major infrastructure job in the Hilton Street, Rich Street, uh, Raven Key area down towards the borough school, and it's taken a lot longer than than we ever feared, really, and it's been pretty tough on the residents and on the borough school in that area. The whole Kaiapoi redevelopment will roughly cost $140 million, which includes insurance payouts and cash from the Crown. A lot of new houses have sprung up in the area, including in Beach Grove, Silverstream and Sovereign Palms communities. The town is home to about 10,700 residents, with that number expected to rise by 3,000 in the next decade. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.